Beginning of the event, we're already f for a five hundred dollar beater car rail beater, beater car yeah so all, most of the cars are around five hundred dollars pot so we start here and then we drive about three hours north to uh, like st helen area but what kind of cars are these uh like, what are they called gambler 500 this is the event so gambler? gamblers yeah you're okay buddy. <laughs> yeah so uh this is the meet point and then we're all gonna like have a big meeting and then go uh yeah, then basically we get a, a sheet of like GPS coordinates and then it's like go like a point, it's like go to point, 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 take pictures, sightsee, and then we go up north and go off-roading. This is the weirdest shit I've ever seen in my life. That's the point. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be some weird shit? Yeah, it's supposed to be weird, okay, yeah. Well, you guys That's, they're they're all themed, yeah, it's a okay. thing. Okay, <laughs> well, live your best life, everybody.
Good morning, gamblers. Welcome to 2023 Gambler 500, Detroit Gambler 500. Welcome. Woo! Woo! All right, we're going to have great weather. At least we're not going to freeze to death. So, obviously this year we have the new campground. A couple of things about that. When you pull in, there's a lot of space, but we do need to be mindful of how we park. Like, people aren't going to be able to, like, park in a circle and take up, like, an acre for themselves. So, just be mindful when you park that you got to be kind of sensible and take, like, you know, a reasonable amount of space for yourself. Uh, there's a divider in the middle between where we're going to be parking for camping and the part of the campground that's going to be the arena and then continuing across the field is where the mini bike track is. So we'll have a caution tape up the middle, just don't camp in that area. We're leaving it for emergency services in case someone needs to get put back together. Um, if you are gonna be entering the property at all, you gotta have the waiver signed and the wristband. They're gonna be looking for that. So we don't wanna piss them off because we wanna be able to use the place next year. And uh, for people with CBs, the Gambler channel is seven. So if you need anything, just find people on seven. The awards we got this year are uh, most points, grand champion award. We have another spirit award for whoever has the best attitude or does the most uh, tokens for pulling people out. There's awards for best or sketchiest rig. Um, usually somebody like blows up their vehicle in a grand fashion. We'll probably have an award for that. So we have a few extra trophies. Uh, the format is the same as last year. You're going to hit all the waypoints or none of the waypoints. It's your event. You can do it however you want. And there are Detroit waypoints again. In the past, uh, it's usually conflicted with Grand Prix. And there's only one that I think conflicts with Grand Prix. Um, so if you guys can get your vehicle to that one, it would be impressive. <laughs> Might get an award just for that. Um, but at least we're not going to end up on the track on Belle Isle again. Or you can just cut out Detroit all together and head north. The campground's open at 2 o'clock to us, so try not to get there before 2. Um, you know, we may start letting people in. As long as we're up there, they're probably going to be fine with it. Um, there's some food options. There's uh, basic dogs and water and chips and stuff that the camp owner is going to be offering for sale. There's a food truck that's supposed to be there either tonight or tomorrow morning with more bougie food. I don't know what that means, but to them, I think bougie just means you have to use a fork. <laughs> is, it, is it bougie? It's weird for where we're going. Um, tomorrow we'll have the award ceremony. If you think you're uh, 50 points or more, I'd say is worth coming in and showing us your points and we'll figure out who's the grand champion. Um, so when the arena is in use and cars are driving up and down or north and south through the arena, that's when mini bikes probably shouldn't be headed over to the trail, unless you're going to go like to the north end around the arena, because I don't want mini bikes to be heading towards cars that are doing dumb shit. I think that's it about uh, things that require extra attention. Does anybody have any questions? Now's a good time to ask. I like talking. Seriously, no questions. Oh, yes, sir. If we, can we get a wristband at the campground or do we have to get it here? You should get it here because it's going to hold things up trying to get it there when, you know, all the cars are pulling in. Luckily, there was construction at the exit that's now done, so we can drive straight off the exit to the campground that we couldn't do a month ago. Um, there's trails right across the street from the campground. If you ask the camp people, they'll tell you how to get to them. But there's a small trail straight across. And if you make a right out of the campground and go down about a quarter mile, there's a, uh, a street that leads you back to the trails also. Um, I drove them last weekend and everything was dry and sandy. There was no mud, no anything. Um, if you end up going across a new bridge with gravel at the front and back of it, you may end up at a swamp, so keep that in mind. You may have to turn around and go back. <laughs> yes, there was a river at one end and a lake or a pond at the other end, so me and the kid had to turn around and backtrack through a crappy trail. Um, any other questions? 
How are we doing on wristbands? I don't want to give out the sheets until we got people ready to roll out. I'm going to give an advantage. Anyone, anyone else need campground wristbands to get on the property and or spend the night? Come on over here to the left of my yappin. Uh, last time, any questions? Any questions? Anybody at all? Any questions? Anyone? Anybody at all? Oh, I thought, is that a question or you're looking for your buddy? Oh, I was just screwing with you, not calling on you. Um, okay. So we're going to hand out the, uh, the route sheets. Oh, yeah. We have some, uh, like, 10-foot-long jousting sticks. We need someone to put them on the roof of their van or wagon or... Okay. Wow, way to win an uh, extra wooden token. All right, you got overruled by the wife. Got it. You got... You help us out with that? I mean, it's... They're not humongous. They're just, like, little PVC tubes with Hulk fists that we're going to use to puke the shit out of each other. <laughs> and we have some completely not safe helmets to go with that. Okay, so people that want to help out with that, just somebody grab them for us. They're right over here in the back of the DNR looking truck. That hopefully isn't. The DNR should be cool this year. We're off state land for camping. That's always been their biggest complaint. So maybe this will be the year we don't get a ticket but we probably will. <laughs> Unpermitted event. All right, so no questions. Going once, going twice. All right, so we're going to give out the sheets, and the last words will come from Ben. Gamblers, start your engines! <laughs> this car together you had the two different colors right you had the brown and the red that's the Arby's color so I thought you know oh that's perfect Arby's. yeah so yeah I made a stencil painted all the sides it's Arby's yeah. we bought this car uh, after it was in an accident so right here with back more there was no hood there was no front there was no fender we drove it home with uh, jumper cables holding the battery on my lap in the passenger seat <laughs> we have the ECU bungee cables on top of the AC compressor Got back, drove it like that for a little bit, then bought parts and put it back together. Uh, we got scorching keys in the front and we were unable to get the stuff in the back out for the shackles, so we got the lean. Yeah, doing major suspension repair last minute is not fun, so yeah, we just put it back together and uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of a Carolina lean going. You guys have ran this before, right? Yeah, yeah last, we, year, we were last year. And the West Gambler last yeah, year. Yeah, the West Gambler. Well. Yeah. So, still running. Good to see him out again. Oh yeah. Always, good. Always be gambling. Always be gambling, boys. <laughs>
Yeah, it's Too done. bad, if we need to go more, we're gonna get stuck. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, maybe like, comment, or subscribe for more hot content.